guys, so we are back here again. It is our last week of the off-season training that we've been hitting for the last six to eight weeks. It's been rough, it's been fun, and it's been hard. So today is deadlift day. This is for both of us. Obviously Luke's doing different training than me. He's doing the pause ones. I'm doing the reps. I think we're both hitting 300. I think he's three reps, I'm eight. So we'll soon find out for when we look at our program later. But it's deadlifts today. And also, as you can see, pink to make the boys wink. This is one t-shirt off our new legacy range that's coming out soon. There's some teasers on our Instagram stories, as you guys will see as well. So keep these eyes, with these eyes here, the eyes you got on your face, keep them peeled uh, for a big drop date coming soon. So guys, we're gonna go get spicy, we're gonna get sweaty, we're gonna get grafting. We've got a big busy week ahead of us. We'll see you at the bar. Hey guys, so we're just about to start deadlifting. Tom says he's got conventional deadlifts for reps. I'm doing some paused, um, up to around 300 kilos. Um, we've taken some extra motivation in, so obviously this year, this young gentleman became the world's strongest man, and this older gentleman became Europe's strongest man. So we've got the two most sought after, or the most sought after trophy in, world, in, in the world. Um, the world's strongest man trophy and our cheeky dinner next to it. And then it looks a little bit piddly next to it, but the Europe's strongest man Giants Live trophy. So his motivation, because like Tom says at the start, this is our last week of this block that we're on. So after this week, everything really ramps up, and that's the trophies that we want to replicate next year. You know, we want to keep those trophies in the Stoltman household. We want to be World's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man, Britain's Strongest Man, World Tour Champion, you know, all these things that we've, we've, we've won this year, we want to replicate, so we need to expose ourselves to that. So seeing these trophies while we're training, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So hopefully, we'll have a good session. We'll see you at the bar. Right, everybody, that is the warm up stand. So, today we're pulling on the deadlift bar using Mirafit plates. So, we've got uh, 225 kilo bumpers and then the, the kind of competition style plates, the thinner plates. Just to replicate, I think the Britons is going to be probably axle, but just to replicate a bit more of the surface area in the ground. Um, so, here yeah, we're up to 260. We've now got 300 kilos on the bar. Um, I've got some paused. Three pause reps with um, 300, two sets. I think Tom's got uh, eight reps for this. So, as you can probably tell with the demeanour of us and stuff, because it is um, our heaviest week this last week. So, the way we are, the way, you know, a bit more aggression, um, that's starting to come through because we're getting, you know, ready for the, the build up for next season, um, which is awesome. I can't wait for that. That's when we start to come into into our own I think when the aggression starts to kick in and we start to get really hyped up and we kind of vibe off each other as well so when Tom's aggressive and getting angry when that gets me angry um, 
and usually leads for a good session. So, with that being said, it's time to start the working sets. Guys, well that's the working sets done. So I did three, three threes paused uh, with 300 kilos. So it felt okay. Um, again, no belt, no suit, completely raw, apart from the figure of eights, which do help an awful lot. Um, but you could probably tell from when Tom and I first did started this, the, the first deadlift session. I think we posted. Um, our breathing was really bad and it took, like our conditioning wasn't quite there so it took us a lot longer to recover but now within a couple of minutes you know we're good to go so I think that again that progression not just in strength we started off at 200 or 220 kilos I forget and then every week we built up to where we're at now so it's it's great to see you know as, as athletes as strong men that's what we look to see so that progression is certainly there um, so it's a good finishing point for this last Edlo session this block six weeks um, so it's got really well gone really good I still feel there's a little bit more for me but I'm happy with that um, and yeah excited to see what the next however many weeks we've got to Worlds um, kind of comes up with there's a few different things we're going to try um, and it's just up to Tom and myself to really <coughs> cover all the bases to become the best in the world again and, you know, re, uh, regain or retake those titles that we won this year and even more next year. Yeah, so that's how uh, deadlift finished. As Luke was saying, from the first week to now, completely different, uh, you know, cardiovascular we've got on us after the first kind of session we were doing. Um, we were blowing out of our bum holes. Uh, still a bit, feel a bit uh, choked up with the cone and stuff, but you know, after doing two sets of eight there at 300, and then to uh, not like just walk away from it is good. Um, recovering quicker now as well, so everything's going good. Progression is the key in any sport you do. Um, no point putting 350, 340 on a bar and doing two or three reps or half it when you're, you're like eight, six weeks out of a competition. That's totally pointless in my eyes. Um, this is just homework for us, you know, the gym's our homework, so we come in, we do what we do and go home. So, uh, we and Lou are doing everything right, we've ticked every box, every week we've been in the gym. Uh, our off season is the best off season we've had, so, you know, going by that, obviously we've got Britons, Harnolds and uh, Royals next year, the first three comps of the year. Um, I think, going by this rate, myself and Luke are going to breeze through Brits and then you know, Arnold's is the one that I've got my eyes on, focused on right now. Then obviously once that's over, we turn it, turn to the world's strongest man, which obviously I'm going to be going for, but, you know, we've got 
you can't just sit here and start getting lazy. You need to keep the work out up every single day, 24 hours, seven days a week. We've got Luke Martins out, all the big boys are here. Luke's hungry for trophies, Martins I am, but if me and Luke keep up what we're doing, we're gonna be a force to reckon with. And uh, we are the best off season I've had, best off season Luke's had, and it's only just getting started. So uh, yeah, in February, Rowan Brits, like I said, I think, no disrespect to anyone, but I think it's gonna be a walk in the park for myself and Luke. So we're ready to uh, blow up Britons again, and I'm ready to take number two home. Right guys, that list done. So we're just gonna do some explosiveness and jump around like kangaroos <laughs> for the next five minutes. Three sets of five, bot squats, nice and easy. But uh, have some fun uh, watching us hop along, hop, box hop around in here. Sorry, box jumps. Box squats, why did I say that? Right guys, so it's a box jump stand. So next exercise, we're going up the stiff leg. So I'm doing three sets of three with 260. Tom? I'm a deficit stiff leg, so raise it off the ground a bit just to uh, make the pull a bit higher at the bottom. I'm doing three fives at 220, you know, so I'm going to build these up slowly. Dead stops as well, so you can really feel it on your lower back. Whatever your weakness is, is where you feel them hit the most. So hammies and lower back is where I feel this. So. Tips from Tommy. See you at the bar. Stiff legs. What were you doing? 220, 265. And Deficit deficits as well. So that was good. That was the heaviest one you've been up to so far, isn't it? So that was decent. And then I was doing just three threes at 260. So all comfy there. Again, that's the heaviest I've done. And um, we're going to go on to um, incline seated dumbbell rows. So kind of 40 kilos or so. Um, three sets of that. So we'll see how it goes. The whole six weeks we've been doing this, not wearing no belts, pressing, squatting, deadlifting. So, you know, it makes it harder, but you put a belt back on, you know, blow up. So, yeah, so much, our core feels better. Even our back's feeling stronger just with no belt, you know. So, 
everything's good. Uh, no suits either to snow either, so everything's flying, brother. Guys, that's the last, as we've said a few times, the last deadlift session of a six week block, the last deadlift training session, whatever you want to call it. So, went well, happy enough. Um, aggression has been up to, I think it was a nice aggressive session. Um, had to get it done. We're now flying down to Manchester for three days, four days. We're back up on Thursday. So, we've got a Christmas activation down in Manchester for my protein um, and a few other bits and pieces so stay tuned for that that'll be good fun still going to try and get our training in when we're down there um, and then add in a weekend training session because we're going to miss a day so um, all in all happy enough? yes very happy I need food and at least sleep before we go <laughs> so thank you for watching guys appreciate it um, <coughs> we will be posting a bit more training videos now that we're kind of in prep for Britain's, Europe's, Arnold's, World's Strongest Man. So thank you for being with us. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>